Hey, Hoodoo family, hope you are growing and manifesting on your Hoodoo journey. Thank you for joining me in part three of my Hoodoo Protection series. We are looking at ways that our African-American family can use Hoodoo to protect ourselves during these times of rise in crime. We got all these mass shootings that are taking place in many of our communities. We are being spiritually targeted from so many different directions. So this uh, three-part series is to help you. But before we get started, let me say thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel and you really want to learn more about old-fashioned hoodoo. I can't put everything out here in public, but I do want to share enough knowledge to help my people. After 400 years, it's time for us, the descendants, to reclaim our hoodoo inheritance and start building a better quality of life for ourselves while rediscovering our African-American roots in the process. So be sure to sign up for my website, uh, go there and subscribe so that you can receive updates on upcoming training sessions. And I will start some closed training sessions starting in the fall of this year. So let's get started with how you can protect yourself with hoodoo. In part one, we use blue candles. In part two, we used hickory. And in this third part, I'm going to show you how to use two very simple and basic ingredients to build a strong hedge of protection around yourself and your household. One of the simplest and most effective hoodoo protections you can use is a combination of steel dust and crushed red cayenne pepper. Steel is an alloy of iron, and some of you have probably heard of using iron dust for protection too, and that is correct. That is accurate. The spirit of iron is twofold. First, it can break and destroy, or number two, it can be used to bond and defend. So the spirit of cayenne pepper, we use it in hoodoo to repel, to push back, to chase away, to run away, anything that might be trying to come against us. So when you combine these two ingredients, you will have a very strong hedge of protection. Now here's how you use these two. All you need to do is combine the two ingredients and sprinkle at the entryways of your home. And you want to do this on the outside of your home. If you're in an apartment, I recommend instead of the crushed red pepper flakes that you use the red pepper powder and you want to make a very fine and I mean a very light dusting outside your apartment door so that people who come to your residence have to walk through it, walk over whatever. Now everyone, if you have steps leading into your residence, put this um, mixture under your steps. You can put it under your door sill or your threshold. You can sprinkle it under your windows outside. So this is how you use it. And when you put this stuff down, you want to ask the spirits of these to protect you and yours. And you're just going to repeat that. Now you can do this every year but it can also be replenished every season if your circumstances need it. If you are under heavy attack by enemies, you want to do this more frequently. You can even use it on your job, wherever you work, sprinkle it around you to keep those negative people away. So in these three protection videos, I provided you some of the easier ways to do hoodoo protection. And I, I hope that you will take advantage of these and use them for yourself and your family. So I hope you have enjoyed this Hoodoo Protection Series, and I always wish you a prosperous Hoodoo journey. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe on my website for updates.